Wild Card Weekend in the Simulation Football League takes us all the way to Queensway. Two games down, two more to go before we decide the quarterfinals. And tonight in London, it's the London Knights against the Las Vegas Fury. First down for London now from the 29. Offset eye with Merrill in the backfield. Pickler will toss it out to Robert Merrill with a spin, a sidestep, and a first down for Merrill. Across midfield he goes, and that is what he can do as well as anybody in this league, a true dual threat back. Very elusive, very hard to bring down, and like you said, he's got quite a resume on him. 25-yard catch and run for Merrill, and Pickler now with a dot over the middle, hits Terrence Weary in stride. Back-to-back -back first downs for London, and he starts off a few yards behind the quarterback. Third and six. Pickler, another dot, he was wide open. First down to the 15. For everybody on that field when they're this stacked. From the 14, first team into the red zone, and Merrill gets decked behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, everybody's rising to the occasion. So JT Delaney, who started his career with these London Knights, now back for his second tour of duty, comes on to attempt the field goal. For the first time in quite a while, the SFL playoffs are for Vegas, snapping a three-season schneid. London has been there a lot over the last couple of years. As Pickler going for it all, Vin Calio at the step behind the defense. Only one defender can catch him, and he will not. 77 yards, Pickler to Calia. Touchdown, London. And that is how long it takes for London to strike. It is something we have seen this entire season. I know we talk about the record not being uh, as shiny as it was the year past, but this team can still do this. And take a look at that. There is no one in the same zip code as Kalia. You've got uh, you've got one defender there, Sean Allen, uh, you know, an all-star running down there to get him, but, but they weren't even on the same playing field. Let's just be honest. Number one wide out for Vegas there at the top of the screen. And a heavy set for the Fury. They will run it. There's room on this near side and a big hole. First down for Hubba Kimbrell. Wrenched down by Anthony Wyo. And Kimbrell has had the much better day so far and it's not really even close. Fresh set. Wide open. Nice pass from Price and another catch for Prince Wonder. The rookie has his third reception of the game. So far for Johnson. Both have also made one catch. Gain of three for Blades. They will run it from Johnson, and Johnson hit from behind, and he loses a couple of yards. I believe I'm correct on this. Three straight drives, five yards or less to get to the first down, and they've been stopped. Unbelievable yeah. what this London defense has done. We know how good this Vegas offense has been over the course of the season, but they've really not come up in the clutch, and so they will settle for a field goal. When you get to call a game, he, he looks that much quicker than even what he does in highlight reels, correct? I mean, just so shifty. The speed really is surprising. Third and five for Pickler and another dime for Johnny Pickler. London moves the sticks. It's high wind on the grab. Uh, that tells you a little bit about this league too. Man, a lot, of, a lot of good players out there, but anybody can make a mistake. Final four minutes of the first half. Deep drop from Pickler. Going oh. deep, wide open. High wind. Touchdown, London. Pickler strikes again, and it's his number two target on the receiving end this time. Thought it was going to be a TFL for one of the best at that category in the league. Not so. Another catch by Wonder. At right at the two-minute warning, the price is right on that throw. More lateral instead of trying to go from side to side might be better because they've not been able to stretch it really out. Uh, Third down so for far. Price. Finds Mason Kirby right through the hands of a defender inside the 20 first down Vegas. Is this an opportunity? for Price to get it to one of his top two targets. Kirby at the bottom, Britton at the top. He will go for Kirby and Mason Kirby with a step inside. Price to Kirby once again. Vegas into the end zone for the first time in the playoffs. We've got ourselves a ball game. They all average better than 14 yards per catch, which is crazy. Second down, here's Merrill. Spin for Robert Merrill, and he breaks to the outside. Down the sideline he goes. Great tackle from behind, stopping an even bigger play by Maurice Lloyd. Empty backfield for Pickler on third and five. London's been great on this this season. Pickler's pass behind an official and caught by Vin Calia. Do they go right back to him on third and goal now is the question. They will. Merrill is hit from behind. What a change of events. Vegas comes through with the hit. It's Michael Rory. He was drafted in the first round last season. and He felt like he was destined for this team. JT Delaney. 
Didn't miss one in the regular season. Put a lot of air under that one and still nails it. So he's perfect. It is still three straight scoring drives for London if you exclude that last drive of the first half where they were only able to possess the ball for one play. Do the more conservative thing, even though it, it certainly hurts, that's for sure. Playing the long game for now, at least for Vegas. Pickler's going to go deep so much for that. Fox, or check that, it's Talon Steele on the catch. And Steele is going to get London inside enemy territory on just two plays anyway at the bottom of your screen coming in from the official game. So they're 100% perfect. Great job, guys. Third and seven. Pickler's going to go deep. High pointing it is high winds. He makes the catch over top of Chris Magel, and London's got a first and goal. That was a thing of beauty. And I really, you can't even say that the coverage was bad on that. I mean, he was right there with him. Simply Fox Highwind just knows how to adjust his body. Only five incompletions and two scores. Clock running here in the third. Pickler's going to throw. Here's Merrill. Running room for Robert Merrill. Easy does it. That one's going to count. Robert Merrill on the board in the postseason. That's four straight scoring drives for London. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, the time is now. You're not going to get another chance at this, possibly. Here they go. Price deep pass and reaching up to make the catch is Prince Wonder. And you said it earlier, but Vegas may have found a diamond in the rough. He's a first-round pick, so you expect a lot. Remember, we saw Vegas lose a defensive lineman earlier in this game, Sam Yeager. I, no, I don't know if he's back yet. Third down for Price. Another first-down catch by Prince Wonder. He has been a third-down machine and really a first-down machine. Eight minutes left in regulation. Vegas still down by 17. Here's the run. Johnson running room for Scott Johnson. Best run of the game for Vegas. Good for 17 and the Fury are in the red zone. He's still only able to get three. So another third down for Vegas now from the 11. Price to throw again. Sidearm sling. End zone. It's caught. Prince Wonder has his 10th catch and his first career postseason touchdown. The Fury are still rolling. Yep, there they go. I mean, you know, just when you talk about them maybe getting down and out, they come right back down the field. That's two very important drives that we have saw them put together. We saw the one right before halftime, and then we saw this drive right here. But when you have two back-to-back -back plays that's solid like that, all of a sudden it's third down, and you got to make something happen. That will be the first sack of the game for London. They sacked Price five times when these two teams matched up earlier this year. Make it a oh. double. Second sack of this possession by the London defense. Selwyn Lane has them both. As we'd expect, yep. Vegas has to go for it. Got to go for it. Longest fourth down that either team has had to weather so far in this game. Can the Fury come up aces? Britain's going short. Price is going long, looking for Kirby. Contact on the route. Price's throw sails high. If London makes the first down out of this. From the 21, London will empty it out. Pickler's had a brilliant day. He will go for the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Fox High wins with the late hits on top of it, to be sure. I'm going to leave a big question mark heading into the offseason. There's no question that that's going to be a stone that has been unturned in this game. Price sets up, and down he goes once again. Vegas allowed the most sacks in the league, four and a half per game. The fourth most yards in the regular season. They were one of the worst statistical defenses in the league, allowing nearly 30 points per game. Today, they only allow 17. They shut down this high-flying Vegas offense. And for the second time this season, London defeats Las Vegas by 17 points.